Good day! Here are the top stories of the Manila Times for Friday, October 2, 2020. President Rodrigo Duterte wants the Department of Energy to study the reopening of the Bataan nuclear power plant amid environmental and safety concerns, one of the issues raised against the nuclear facility that was built under the late President Ferdinand Marcos was that it was near a major geological fault line and close to the then dormant Mount Pinatubo. The construction of the $2.3 billion plant, which started in 1976, was completed but was never launched. It was equipped with a Westinghouse light water reactor and designed to produce 621 megawatts of electricity. And while Duterte's latest directive is expected to spark controversy, the House of Representatives is in the middle of one as Marinduque Representative Lord Alan Velasco slammed Speaker Alan Pierter Cayetano for his political maneuverings and theatrics that have delayed deliberations on the 2021 national budget. Velasco and Cayetano are locked in the battle for the speakership with a Marinduque lawmaker asking the congressman from Taguig to honor a term-sharing deal which no less than President Rodrigo Duterte had brokered for them. But then again, lawmakers aren't all that bad as they attempt to broker their own deal with mobile wallet applications firms such as Gcash and Paymaya by asking them to hold off charging of transaction fees until the end of 2020 to avoid putting more burden on already financially strapped customers coping with the COVID-19 pandemic. In business, the Banco Central ng Pilipinas has been doing its fair share of keeping the economy afloat in this pandemic by retaining its key interest rates, which monetary authorities believe was appropriate. And what can be more appropriate than LeBron James leading the Los Angeles Lakers to victory in Game 1 of their Best of 7 Championship Series against his former team, the Miami Heat, with a score of 116-98? to Will King James hand the Lakers their first title in 10 years, or will the Heat steal the thunder from James? Rigoberto Di Glau is the Times featured columnist on today's front page, where he claims that Ombudsman Samuel Martirez is defending his former colleague, Supreme Court Associate Justice Marvic Leonen, over his failure to file his statements of assets, liabilities, and net worth, or sal eds. Courting controversy, Martirez issued a directive restricting access to government official sal eds because they were being weaponized and used against enemies in politics. Leonin continues to be the Times' favorite subject in this issue after it reported that he was sitting on the electoral protest filed by former Senator Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr against Vice President Maria Leonor Leni Robredo. The Times editorial criticized Leonin's dilatory tactics and called for a swift resolution to the case as the people deserve to know the real winner of the vice presidential race in 2016. For more news and information, get the copy of the Manila Times on print, subscribe to our digital edition, or log on to www.manilatimes.net. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagrams, and keep up with the Manila Times.